if I could take the pill uh, in Limitless without those side effects and the addiction and, and you know, all of the horrible things that come along with it, if you could just kind of go on a joy ride. Right now in my life, I learn how to speak Spanish because I have to speak Spanish in my next film. So if I could do that in one day, it'd be incredible because it's so much work to learn a la another language. And it's a different part of your brain and you have to reorganize it because the language that you know is so deeply ingrained. You know, even just sentence structures and everything like that. And so, yeah, I would learn how to speak Spanish and, and maybe learn uh, a musical instrument that I've always wanted to learn. I play a bit of piano, keyboard and a tiny bit of guitar, but I've, I bought a harp recently and I really want to learn how to play that. It's a really difficult instrument to learn. If I could buy or own one piece of art right now, I think it would probably be a Basquiat piece. It just, I just remember when I was a teenager, I, I, I was so influenced by his work and, and I, I guess because I'm into street art as well, that um, you know, amalgamation of the two and you know, he, he kind of came up on the streets and came from the streets and, and there's just something I think so instinctual about his work that I really love. But it's a, it's a hard question. I don't, you know, gosh, there's so many amazing artists out there, but I think that would hold a lot of meaning for me. Yeah. <laughs> Have I ever been in a real fight with my brothers? <laughs> we had some pretty good fights. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, uh, a bit of both really. But my, my older brother in particular, you know, we would blue every now and then. Um, and most of the time he would win and I'd kind of build it up and then I'd win once, you know, in a blue moon and that, that was good enough for me. <laughs> I started painting when I was a kid. I, uh, I grew up on 170 acres and being creative and being outdoors is all I wanted to do. And my mother's very creative, she's a painter. And so from a very young age, she was always exposing us to, you know, arts and crafts and and uh, you know the idea of sculpting and building and musical instruments. I was really lucky as a kid. So yeah, from a young age, um, and it kind of developed through my school years and after. And particularly now, it's wonderful because my mum's a full-time painter. I have four other brothers and sisters. The youngest is 16, and now that she's grown up and she has her own life going on, it allows mum to paint more. And it's amazing watching her paint and watching her evolve. My guilty pleasure is hot chocolate. I can't live without it every day. It's such, it's a highlight of my day. I know it sounds so silly, but it just is. And whenever I'm working, Jerry Grinnell, who's my dialect coach, who I've been working with a lot lately, because you know, working on international films, you're usually doing an accent. We have a tradition of having a hot chocolate every morning. And so whatever country we're in, we'll try every hot chocolate we can get our hands on. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. And we, you know, we just, he makes it, it's, it's, it's almost like a ceremony, you know, in the morning when he makes it and then we try it and then we, we kind of let, let each other enjoy it before we talk about it. And then we actually have a full discussion about the, the hot chocolate and we, you know, we rank it in the hierarchy. Yeah, I don't drink coffee, so hot chocolate for me is a vice. It's like a little lift in the, in the day and I don't know, it's just so warm and scrumptious and, and delicious. But yeah, it's kind of a little tradition now, a working tradition. We have one every morning and then if later in the afternoon we both start to droop a little, because he doesn't drink coffee either. We have a hot chocolate and then we power on. <laughs>